simulation mine is going to simulate what happens when a few kilograms of pressure are put on it and uh, the lights in the background will tell the user what kind of a uh, response they get. Not a very good one. The idea with this device is that rather than actually leaning forward over the mine itself or where the potential reading is coming from, you sit back, you have a device that's basically shielded. Part of that is basically to force you to not reach over it. It's partly psychological, partly protection. Yeah. What we're doing is we're forcing both hands into an air, back into an area that's properly protected. So your hands back here rather than really near the front. If your hand is actually up the front and the, the, the mine goes off, so a tool like this, your flush is literally going to be stripped from the boat. Having your hands back here means that essentially the pressures are going to decay to such a level that, okay, you're going to be in a bit of shock when the mine goes off, but you'll be able to walk away from it without any lasting damage. What you do is you scan the ground with a metal detector, and when you found reading, basically what you do is you put down the little marker. Um, ultimately, the first thing that you do is what you want to do is try and find out whether there's a solid mass behind the area that you're actually sort of looking at. So what you do is you use the probe, go in, and basically as soon as you start to actually feel the solid mass, what you do is you switch the tool out, put one with a solid head, and ultimately what you want to do is start carefully moving sort of, until you've actually found a mine in the ground.